Hello. Hello. I'm Miriam. And I'm David. <laughs> and we are here to tell you about our story with TRS. So just to get you all caught up to speed in our experience and my experience and David's experience mm -hmm. and how he's the skeptic <laughs> <laughs> and researcher and mm -hmm. the, the brains behind everything. And then I'm just like, okay, I want to order this. I'm going to order this. Let's do this. Do you want to do this? And he's like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out several months later, he, it, he did all the backend research that validated the intuitive knowing. So mm -hmm. um, I imagine those of you watching this can relate to a fellow skeptic in your life. <laughs> and like, it's still, it, it all matches up. It always all syncs up. And the skepticism is so good and so helpful because it helps refine um, mm -hmm. and helps you get clear. And I mean, that's what makes David such a great channel anyway. So he's always asking questions and wanting to know more. But I wanted to start with the first part of TRS and just how it even came across my path. So in 2020, as we know, the world took a very strange turn and my, my truth sniffer was going off and I was finding, I was trying to find as many people as I could that were saying something real that's something that hit. And fortunately, I found a ton of amazing truthers out there, patriots, people that love this country, people that care about this country, people that were talking about something real. They were talking about chemtrails. They were talking about corruption. They were talking about um, barium and aluminum, B-A-A-L. They were talking about that in the chemtrails and it just, it hit. Like I was like, this is truth. This is what I've been looking for. And in those same circles, they were also talking about TRS spray and heavy metal detoxing and the importance of it. And all of these women, it was all women, were so lit up. Like they were, they were in there. Like they're, they're in their body, they're in their knowing, they're operating from that place. And they're they're clean. Their 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 knowledge is clean. There are also researchers and skeptics. Um, so they they also operate from that place as well. And they're also trusting their intuitive knowing and, and guided to particular products and, and conversations and all of the threads that made 2020 what it was. So it just kept coming into my awareness, the, the TRS and the heavy metal detoxing. And it wasn't even so much about the, the chemtrails were a piece of it, but that became more validating later as I've seen more and more chemtrails over Texas. But I wasn't really seeing a lot of that when we were in Arizona at the time. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't the primary motivator for me. The primary motivator to get TRS was to detox the heavy metals that I have in my system from previous vaccines as a child. Things I don't even know. Like, what do I even have in here? What was injected into me? I, I want it out. How long has it been in here? Is it still in here? So that was the initial like, okay, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. So I ordered a three pack um, on auto ship for 150, which is the best deal. And then I did not pause my subscription. So we got another auto ship the next month. So we had six bottles of TRS spray. And I was like, hey, David, I'm going to do this. Do you want to do this? And he's like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then we, we did it. Um, started off slow, one spray a day, week one, week two, two sprays a day, week three, we worked our way up to five sprays a day. Um, you can do more, whatever, whatever is, you know, you, you feel it out with your own body. Um, and the, the things that I noticed the most were the whites of my eyes were clearer. I remember looking in the bathroom mirror and I was like, oh my God, my eyes are clearer. Like the, the whites are clearer and then I could see all new colors that I hadn't seen before, hazels and greens. And it just, then my eyes popped and I was like, whoa. So that was one, one improvement, one win, one, one thing I, I, I didn't know would happen. Um, the second thing was my period. So my cycle has always like been painful and awful and all of these things. And I just thought that was normal. Um, I didn't know that I could have a painless period. Um, and, and now I have had one every month since then. Um, primarily, I mean, last month or two months ago, I was a little like, Neh. but they also amped up the chemtrails. Um, so it would, it just feels like it makes sense. Um, but my period, I noticed that, like no ibuprofen, no nothing. I, I don't take anything um, for it. Um, what was the other thing? Well, I also give my period blood to my plants and I noticed my plants were like, zing, 
They like love it. They like lit up. So that to me is a good thing. I love that I'm giving them non heavy metal toxic blood. Um, if that's weird to you, then I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Miriam. Um, and then there was one other thing. Oh, just recently I realized I didn't even no conscious awareness. I, my, I don't have allergies. I don't have, I don't have seasonal allergies. I have had allergies my entire life, spring and fall, like clockwork, like watery one eye just waters and my nose runs forever. And I finally realized, I was like, oh my God, I didn't have allergies this fall and I, I don't have them still. And we're in spring right now, mm-hmm. spring 2021. And I don't have allergies. I would take Claritin. I would like bypass all of my intuitive knowing and take all of this garbage to just suppress so I wasn't leaking out of my eyes and nose. And now I don't have allergies. And I remember when we were moving to Texas, people said like, oh, careful with allergies in the spring. Like, mm-hmm. but I, I don't have them. So, so those are my like big three things that came from it. Um, and then as far as detox symptoms go, I had, I was really lethargic. We were filming a show during that time. Um, I was super tired. I had headaches, um, just kind of detoxy type, like, ugh. Even though I started the spray slow and steady and all of that, I still felt the the repercussions of the of the detox. Um, my dreams really vivid. They're always really vivid, but they felt like more vivid, like brighter. Um, or like I remembered more aspects of my dreams. Um, and then I also had like weird, like my knee pain, like from, I tore my meniscus in like 2005 and I had like my knee pain flare up and all of these like memories of like people from my past that I have not thought of in years. So there was like, there was also stuff working out on that level as well. Um, Hmm. but totally like not a big deal. You know, it was like, I, I know that this is for a bigger reason and I'm, let's just do it. Um, I did not scoop through my poop. So I don't know if I passed any parasites early on and I have yet to scoop through my poop. So I still don't know. Um, I think so. When I've seen some pictures of parasites, I'm like, Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that little guy looks familiar. So I, I think so, but I, I no definitive, um, answer on that. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of been my TRS experience. And then I rope David into it. And yeah. Yeah. I don't know that I tracked much of my experience, um, but I've been thinking about it a lot tonight. And one thing, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to scratch through my ankles, like to, to the, not to the bone, but I would scratch until I bled and I had crazy candida growing up. Um, uh, it was even yep. it was even a little bit before I took antibiotics, but then I took antibiotics for acne when I was in my early teens, and then my my whole system was wrecked. So I would just scratch and scratch my ankles until they bled. Um, even yeah, I don't know if I don't know if you knew that. Um, no, but even but like we all learned even something. over the years, the when I would have sugar, any sort of sugar, your mom would send us gummy bears. Yeah. Candida would flare up in my system, and I'd feel like crap. And then it would get itchy. Yeah. Um, but even, I mean, in high school, it wasn't as bad. I wouldn't scratch through. I had a little bit more self-control. But I, I remember being at school and I would show my friends if I scratched myself, they would turn into welts within a few minutes. Just wow. huge welts on top, of my, on top of my skin. So my skin's always been weird. I've had like a journey with acne and all of that stuff. Um, I think some of the acne's gotten a little bit better. It's a little bit hard to, hard to tell. Um, I used to have like a lot of like little ingrown hairs and stuff and I don't really have that anymore. But the, the candida thing I was really thinking Mm, about and I, I mean, I had a chocolate bunny the other day that your mom sent us and I didn't have crazy symptoms. Mm. Um, So there's little things like that. Um, My mom, she's the culprit. I know she sends candy candy and I can't help myself. (laughs) Um, But there's things like that. And then my coffee intake's gone down. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been kind of generally noticing as we've been switching over all of our products and doing all of this stuff, I think for me now why I take TRS is more on principle because I know there's heavy metals and everything. The more I do my research, the more I'm like, oh, having something to offset the environmental contamination yeah. and, and even having things like shilajit, which we also talk about to like, to yeah. put back in the vitamins and minerals from our topsoil that's been depleted and the pesticides that kill the bacteria, like 
I'm coming at this from kind of a cognitive angle and I don't know that I tracked my experience at the beginning, but there are things like that where I'm like, I don't really have crazy candida anymore. Yeah. That seems substantial. Yeah. And I don't know what combination of things um, that did it, but TRS is the main thing that we've been doing that's yeah. made that difference. Um, generally, I have more energy now than I used to, yeah. um, which is also really notable. And, and I know for sure that the energy levels can be depleted from heavy metals. Um, also joint pains and constipation are big mm -hmm. with heavy metal toxicity. Um, I've had a shoulder industry injury and a hip injury for longer than I've known you. It's been yeah. five or six years where yeah. I, I, I was doing bridge in a yoga class and I fell and then I smashed my hip and either like a month or two before that I was swinging on a stripper pole and like kind of, I, I must've torn my rotator cuff. Ridiculous. So stupid. But those injuries have been getting better and my back's been like cracking weird and stuff and, and like things are opening up and my whole body feels like it's opening up. So I am noticing things, but it's, it's been smaller. Yeah. Um, but I mean, for me now, the more I look into, like it's not just deodorant. I always thought it was like, oh, I would switch to Tom's yeah. and then we're good, but it's in everything. Yeah. And then learning about the vaccines and learning about the chemtrails and all of that. And, and I don't know to what degree, like how much you can prove that, you know, like, I don't know what, to what degree, like they're crazy conspiracy theories, but then you go online and you see like, oh, well they're cloud seeding and China can cover half the country in snow by 2030, you know, like there's little <laughs> things like where you it's mean like, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So there's little things like that where it's like on principle, the more I learn about corruption in the world and just the more I learn about toxicity that we put up with, like with our plastics and with all of our products and with all of our chemicals and even in organic, um, even in organic products, USDA organic products, there's still heavy metals that, that yeah. can be tested there. And that's not one of the things that they have to, to get the organic yeah. um, thing and in protein powders and just, yeah. just knowing that all these heavy metals are everywhere in the modern world it's felt important to me to keep doing it. Yeah. So the, I, I'm coming at it from a cognitive thing and I guess I notice things. I mean, yeah. I don't know if I had allergies before I don't right now. I, I don't I don't know to what degree it contributed to my candida, but I, I don't yeah. have those problems now, you know, it's like. Something I've seen actually from people is that their sugar cravings go down. Yes. With detoxing the heavy metals because Same. you're pulling out the parasites and the parasites are the things that want the sugar. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes sense. Yeah. 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 I still feel like I have a bunch to learn around the, the parasites and, and all of that and, and even more sources of heavy metals and all of those things. But just from the little bit of research that I've done, which is still probably 30, 40 hours of research that I've done. So much research. It makes sense to me to offset heavy metals in this modern world because we've never seen anything like this. We've never had production like this. We've yeah. never had smog in the air. We've never had aluminum being delivered to our bodies in the way that we do now. We've yeah. never had so many heavy metals in our soil, in our in our pesticides, just in everything, in all of our yeah. products, in our beauty products. Yeah. Just living in the modern world, we get more heavy metals than we normally do and little amounts are okay. And some things like iron and, and even some lead and like uh, there, there's little things that our body needs zinc, calcium, magnesium, potassium yeah. that our body needs. But this helps to take all of the free floating heavy metals that are in our system that our body isn't using. Yeah. And it helps to cleanse them through the system just on principle for me enough that that's enough where I want to keep taking it. Mm -hmm. And like for me, the, the alleviation of symptoms and stuff is, is like secondary to that. Yeah. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks love. But yeah, I mean, I, I love the product and I love the, I love the fact that it's a lab grown version of what happens in nature, that they, that they get to do it just with heat and pressure, not crazy chemicals. It's not like, it's not what you think of when you think of a lab, it's like reproducing yeah. what happens in nature. So it can be this really pure thing. I did a bunch of research and if you're watching this in the, on our blog, and then you can keep reading below and I have a bunch of research there. Um, and if not, if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll, we'll link that article in the description below. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this pocket feels really good. The detoxing, yeah. focusing more on health. Um, I just never saw it as a priority. And now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, how can it not be a priority? Yeah. hundred yeah. mm -hmm. percent. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. So my recommendation and the company's recommendation is to start off slow one spray mm -hmm. a day, like really take it easy. Like you can take days off, you can do whatever you need to do. You don't have to go like headstrong into this. Um, it was a slow build <laughs> over many generations, this corruption. So to undo it, um, 
is also a slow, it's a slow build yeah. to back to more of our natural immunity and what our bodies are actually capable of without being inundated with heavy metals, or at least to mitigate as much as we possibly can. Mm-hmm. So I notice personally for me on heavy chemtrail days, I, I do extra sprays. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it just feels important and just intuitively guided. You know, some people will do their sprays. They'll break it up in the morning and evening. Some people can only do morning because it gives them too much energy. So they can't do it at night because then they can't fall asleep or some people can do it at night. It's, it's all whatever you kind of just, you just, it's getting in tune with yourself. And as we teach at the second paradigm, trust in yourself, your own intuition, your own inner knowing. Mm-hmm. You've got to go from that place. Yeah. Um, That's, I think the main thing that got you here is your own intuition and like all of the data and all of the, all of that stuff came later. Yeah. Like that, that's the stuff that I'm really fascinated with, but. That's literally how we work. That's that is how, how our we work. entire business is built. <laughs> Cause I'm like, this feels off. I don't like this. Mm-hmm. David help. And then he goes and like gets all the information. Yeah. I want to help make sense of things. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, for me, it cognitively checks out this particular version of zeolites checks out for me on, on weighting purity against just quantity. You can just mine this stuff out of the ground, but it's like a sponge that's sitting outside. It's already full of stuff. So the it's cool the that your intuition and the intuition of so many of these like God-loving Christian intuitive truthers yeah. that all of these people were drawn to this singular product. Like for me, that's something that makes me kind of perk up and go, why are all of these yeah. intuitive people who are on the pulse of what's happening in the world right now being drawn to this product? What's yeah. there? Mm-hmm. Like it's not just marketing and it's not no. like... And yes, this is like an MLM, but it's like, that's just a referral structure. Like it's, yeah. you can't have, you can't have a business if there's nothing of, of yeah. merit there. Yeah. Like there's no way that all of these people would be talking about this thing if they weren't using it themselves, if there wasn't something there, because yeah. there's, there's easier ways to make money, you know, yeah. like there's really something here. And for me, I wanted to kind of drill down into that. It's like, why are people using this? Why are you drawn to this? Why do I feel so good about this yeah. product? versus like the protein powder tubs or versus not doing it at all. Yeah. And like the more that I looked at it, it all checks out with the science, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I think disclaimer, we're not medical professionals. Uh, these statements are not approved <laughs> by the FDA. It's not a cure for anything, but the science shows certain heavy metal symptoms and the science shows that clinoptolites and zeolites in particular in the body pull out these heavy metals, bind them, um, on an atomic level and then help to cleanse them out of the system. Um, so that was yeah. enough for me and, and yeah. hearing the stories and the testimonials of, yeah. I mean, on, on all of these products. The stories um, about the children were the biggest ones for me. People's yeah. own personal experiences with their children um, being on TRS for however many like days, weeks, months, years, or whatever their, their length of time was mm-hmm. and speech coming back, vaccine injured, I would say children or children diagnosed with autism, um, suddenly having more words um, after maybe not having any words or maybe just one word or sounds. Um, the stories are really remarkable and they're out there and they're accessible. Um, yeah. And we've started our own Telegram thread so we can capture more stories from people um, and share those as well. So we can have the link here to our Telegram thread. Um, if you're not using TRS, but you're interested, you're more than welcome to join our thread and see what the discussions that are happening in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it just feels good. Yeah. So, and I, yeah, the stories of the children really got me. There's, there's women on YouTube, um, that there's one video in particular where this woman's talking about her experience with TRS and the whole time her child's singing in the background as she's pushing them in the stroller. And at the end of she at the end she says this before starting TRS my child was nonverbal and that's who you hear singing right now. Mm-hmm. Pretty remarkable, pretty yeah. remarkable. Yeah, it got me. I watched it twice. <laughs> Such a it's so mm-hmm. good. It's so good. So that's out there on YouTube. Yeah, there was another woman uh, speaking on stage. Yeah, that said she tried uh, all a bunch of different chelation products and she she knew that she wanted to to detox her kid, um, but every time she would use all these other chelation agents, all of the like pharmaceutical versions or the really like intense versions, the, her, her kid had a really, really hard time with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so she stopped and she, she pulled back and then it wasn't until she, she found TRS where she was like, this is it. And she started to see all the symptoms reverse. She started to, to have like actual conversations with her child for the first yeah. time. 
And she was like, these are little things, but like the, like my son, I think would go from, would start asking questions, never asked questions before. And then over time, like we, we were able to teach him to, to speak back in statements. And she was like, this is like, this is like an 11, 13 year old who's like asking questions for the first time and speaking in the first time, but this yeah. is really, really big for him. Yeah. And the, and she was like, the only thing that we use now is TRS. Like yeah. there, there's, there's no other products that are supplementing it. So yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's hearing stories like that of people where it's like, man, there really is something to this. The science is really backed. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean, even if our own personal experiences aren't like the most ridiculous, no. marketable, I know. no extreme things, mm -hmm. like as, as normal people being intuitively guided to this and doing the research, it's something that we want to continue to use and it's yeah. been working oh. for us. Yeah, always. Yeah, they, there's, um, they recommend, I think, like either a three or six month detox. Um, but I personally, we have, I'm, have you stopped the sprays? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't stopped. <laughs> um, I've just been just continuing to go with it. Um, there'll be days when I'll like take a day off or two days off or something. But, um, yeah, with the amount of spraying up in the sky, I, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want to take any days off right now. It doesn't, it still feels when I check in and ask if it's, you know, how many sprays today, I just keep getting five. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but as with everything at the second paradigm and beyond, trust yourself, trust your intuition. Always. That's the thing that got us here and gets us everywhere. So yeah. trust it for yourself. And if it's here, then we have yeah. links. And if it's not, then follow the things that are. Mm -hmm. Totally. Always, always, always. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No, that's it. Cool. Just wanted to have this encapsulated for mm -hmm. for people. I hope it's helpful, and you can yeah. leave any questions in the comments below. For sure. Um, yeah, or join us in our Telegram and ask questions there too. Yeah. I'm sure you can get your questions answered too, in there by other people's stories. For sure. Alrighty. All right. Thanks for watching. Keep going. Keep trusting. And welcome home. And welcome home. <laughs>